Welcome back to Rimworld. So, as the intro sort of suggested, I've done a pretty hefty amount of rebalancing with the mod pack so that we can make some progress, but also find some more of the threatening sort of endgame events that we've included as well. And actually have the game be the thing posing the challenge and not the restrictions of the mod packs and the inconveniences added by them all. So, first thing to do is I have removed the common sense mod that is completely gone from things. Just because it adds a lot of extra stuff that... When micromanaging is so important, we don't necessarily want. Like, things like, they'll clean their work area before they work there. That's, of course, nice in regular Rimworld, but when the difference is life and death, the last thing you want is when somebody is, is literally on the deathbed and trying to operate them, the doctor rushing around cleaning the room before they get into things. It adds a lot of extra little stuff, which definitely adds up to a lot of issues over a prolonged period of time. I have severely edited and modded and modified a lot of the mods uh, on, on the settings menu. Obviously, I haven't changed any of the actual core mechanics of the mods or, or changed the mod files or anything like that. But I have tried to rebalance things as best as possible so that we are being, as I said, challenged by the game and not by the mods just being inconvenient. So certain things like the uh, hygiene mod, I've still kept thirst enabled, but I've cut down the amount of time they are doing that by half. Now, I foolishly thought, because this makes sense, that whenever they went to the river, for example, to go and wash themselves with that mod, that they would also get a drink of water at the same time. It turns out, no, they, they have to do one or the other. They won't do both at the same time unless they have a need for both simultaneously, which they rarely do. So it's kind of a pain in the ass with that. So uh, what I wanted to do was um, set the hygiene time down to 75% and the thirst down to 75%, so we are saving that that quite a fair amount of time on that. Fortunately, it's not possible, so I've kept thirst up to 100% and hygiene down to 50%. You can't die from being too smelly, at least, you know, talking from experience, you can't. You also can't, you can, however, die and be pretty heavily inconvenienced by being uh, thirsty. So I thought that was fair to keep that going as part of the survival aspect of things. That's a legitimate part of survival. Smelling so bad that you have to run to the river six times a day is not, and that's kind of something that's pissed me off. There's some other stuff I've changed as well, but we'll dive into that as we go. Now, because I've removed some pretty hefty mods, and because I've... Oh, other thing as well, worth mentioning here. Seeds is gone. Seeds is a good idea if you start with weapons or if you start with some seeds. If you start in Naked Brutality, I don't really see the point. A lot of people were suggesting start with some seeds, but then that also defeats the point of Naked Brutality, right? So I just thought we'd remove it. It changes too much of the base game, and it's also pretty inconvenient the amount of storage space it uses up and things like that. So because I've removed those, we do have to start a new game. So this is going to be Jilt number 12. Another thing as well, people are suggesting because of the inherent difficulty of all these mods we've got and not many bonuses, and because I've even removed some of the bonuses from the mods we've got enabled, Spend as people have suggested spending as many points as possible to ensure in the character designer or using our maximum limits to ensure that we're actually going to get past the first sort of uh, first few hours, obviously, of playtime, real life playtime, not in game playtime of the game, just to ensure that we're not getting wiped out constantly because apparently starting a fresh save every five minutes is not particularly entertaining. So, hopefully. This, if I play right, will be the last time we have to start again for hopefully quite some time. You get, again, legitimately, if we get like an insurmountable raid or something, that's fine. I think that's a cool way for a colony to end is like going down in some big last sort of hurrah, you know, a, a genuinely trying to fight for your lives. Dying because you went berserk and then a trade caravan shoots you, that's a bit shit. I think we're all in agreement with that. And that's what this, this new rebalancing is trying to aim to stop things like that and, and give us a little more of the harder, sort of cooler gameplay, the, the sort of... Uh, the, the big hurrah, like I said. So, I'm looking again immediately for hygiene. Uh, uh, rivers, specifically, so that we can deal with the hygiene issues. 
Um, I'm not seeing any rivers that are on mountains. Now, this is kind of taking my fancy here. What have we got? Western coast, small hills, river. 30 out of 60 days growing time, which is pretty nice. Decent rainfall too, and forageability is also pretty decent. We don't have to worry so much about the forageability these days because, of course, we don't have the seeds mod. I, I don't know if that mod was my type of thing either. I, I don't particularly like a heavy amount of micro like that, particularly when we get a large colony as well. Um, I think I might just roll with this one because I think it's looking all right. And again, maybe we could go for completely random site. So will start on Merciless if this does become too difficult. But we'll leave that for if we ever do succeed with this, huh? So I'll just preset Jilp. And there we go. So, playing as regular old Jilp. We are going to randomize the backstory as per usual. Now, as you guys have said, I've seen this comment a lot and I have taken it to heart. If we get incapable of social, incapable of dumb labor, incapable of construction, anything like that. Uh, those are cursed starts and we will have to start again. So we'll just keep pressing the roll button until we get something at that stage. But for now, I'm going to leave it semi-random and stop. Okay, Medieval Slave, Civil Servant, Capable, and None. I'm fine with that. No skills, no base game skills here. So we are going to use the points limits implemented by Prepare Carefully, because it is quite strict, to its credit. So, don't forget, we're also starting with Crypto Sleep Sickness to add that on as well. That's random, and let's hope we don't get particularly powerful traits, I'd say. Um, boom. Okay, Nervous. Mental Break Threshold, plus 8%. That sucks. Nibbler. Eating speed minus 25% sucks, and bisexual, which is completely irrelevant. Wow, those are horrible traits, but okay then. It just means that we get to spend more points, so that actually, actually reduced any points because they're garbage. But it also hasn't given us any bonus points either, even though they are terrible. So, let's plan this out then. I think we want to go shooting quite high. I'm, I'm actually willing to spend a fair amount of points on that. Obviously, construction, we need a minimum of five, ideally more. I'm going to take it up to eight, just so that we don't botch those early game sort of windmills or anything like that. I'm going to mining eight as well. I'm going to go cooking eight. I'm going to go plants eight, funnily enough. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to put a lot of passions into these, because this guy might be... This is a cursed jilp. This is a continental jilp as well. What I was going to say is... Uh, Hopefully we're going to have this guy for obviously quite some time, but he's also probably going to be our only character for quite some time as well. So getting passions in, in everything, seeing as he's going to be doing everything by himself, seems like a good idea. Let's give him a bit of social too. No, he's still not a fantastic character. Oh god, we need to go into crafting as well. Shit. Um, oh, and medical too. Good god. You know what? I think that's okay. He's still not fantastic. Zero melee, zero animal, zero artistic. He's got a minor passion in everything. 61 points left. Gotta remember, got nervous, we've got higher mental break, and we've got Nibbler. So it's a slow reaping speed. No particularly good backstory points there. And he's got Crypto Sleep Sickness. I think this is okay in terms of balance. And this is, of course, Jilp number 12. Unbelievable. Okay. It seems like we've had way more than 12 attempts, but of course that sort of Jilp number 8 playthrough went on for so long. But then, of course, that was just, for some reason, there, there was no threat at all, which is, you know, again, part of what the rebalancing is trying to deal with. This is a nice map, huh? That is, I'm, I'm willing to bet the, the, the channel on the fact that that might be an ancient danger. We could just open it early on and just try it. I mean, there is a possibility that it doesn't actually contain anything but a bunch of crypto sleep caskets that we could pop open, obviously. I'm liking the look of this. Um, particularly over this side of the river, we've got a big, big, big defensible river here. This is all impassable. Well, it's chest deep water, which means it's impassable because it's one of the mods we've got enabled. Um, that's a precarious overhead mountain there. Look at that. Holy shit. We mine that out and it all just collapses in. We've got a sky steel building there that we could potentially convert into a very small house. We've got geothermal generator, plenty of room for growing. What is that? We've got uranium ore. Now I'm looking for components as well, because I can't see any immediately here. Oh man, I can't see any. Oh god, there's like one. Oh, all the components are on this side of the river, which kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, there is also right there another geyser, but I'm going to go for this side. I think we'll stick to this side of the river because I'm liking the look of that. Okay, so... Like I said, we do have a slightly reduced uh, sort of hygiene need. It's down by 50%. However, the thirst is still set to normal. So in theory, he shouldn't wash or use the bath five times a day. But he will still have that same thirst. So we still need to worry about that type of thing as well. All right. And we've got a decent amount of trees here. What's the temperature? 17 degrees is, is quite a good temperature as well. We don't need to immediately worry about vents or heating or anything like that either. So I think we'll turn this into an actual bedroom to start off with. And then why don't we just chop down all the wood we can. We've got a lot of wood going for us right now, which is quite nice. Now, what I'm going to do is ensure I've got everything placed down before we unpause here. You guys have been suggesting basically a lot of the early game hygiene stuff that we might need. Um, irrelevant, irrelevant. I don't want to overload this with too much visual sort of stimulus right now. Get rid of these. So, butcher and cooking is going to be quite high. I do like to have cooking higher and butchering because if you get a lot of, um, you know, like a lot of meats, they're constantly butchering and actually not cooking the food. So, I'll lower that down. And similarly, we'll go for harvest needs to be high, grow needs to be high. Uh, and then we'll have construction and deconstruct level two. Same with repair as well. 
Hunting needs to be number one, because obviously we'll manually prioritize that one. Mining is, I'm happy to keep that at level three. In fact, I might have that slightly higher. Plant cutters level one. Get rid of these. Really happy to get rid of just basically every single one of these. Crafting can be high. Tailoring can be high as well, to be fair, because we are going to obviously need to make that early piece of clothing. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy about this one. I feel a little more optimistic, say, going into this series, because I know there's... We can focus on planning things out a little bit more and not having to worry so much about the micro. Because, you know, it's easy to say, well, we'll build this today and we'll build this today and we'll build this today. But it's very easy not to take into account the 18 different times it's going to run to the river to deal with various bodily issues. Um, hauling can go to three and researching can stick at three as well. Because I think for now, until we get a second colonist, researching is definitely going to be more or less permanently on the back burner. All right. I'm fairly optimistic about this. I'm glad you guys were a little more... I saw a lot of comments saying this as well. So it's not just one comment that I've, I've latched in. It's not like a confirmation bias. I have seen a lot of comments saying just use the points limits. It's there for a reason. It's fairly well balanced as well. Like this guy is crap because of his traits. But to balance them out, obviously we've given him a lot of passions and a lot of decent skills. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is going to go. Alright. So let's plan out what we need. We need a latrine. That's very important. We need a water tub for washing. That's very important as well. Fairly close to the river would be fairly nice. A well to immediately get water from. Not that it matters too much because it is the, the river is obviously right there. Um, in fact, there's nowhere really convenient to put the well. I'm going to remove that one. We'll put another wall there. And then we'll put the door on this side instead. So we can immediately run straight out of his house to the river. So actually, this is, this is all fairly convenient, I'd say. Um, let's put that there. Cancel this. Move this over to here. Again, not that it matters because... The river is right there, so really we might not even need a water, a, a wooden wash tub or whatever the hell it was called. Um, is there anything else we want right now? Fountain, yeah, I mean we could add a basin, but again, when the river's right there, I'm, I'm sort of thinking it's probably not worth it. We got very, very lucky with this building being so incredibly close to the river. Right, okay, so let's start planning out a bedroom then. So let's go bed, obviously, immediately. Let's go for an end table, pretty much immediately. And let's go for a dresser as well. I think we can fit it in there, no problem. But there is apparently an access point on that. I have no idea what for. Why would you need to access... Can you put things in it? Um, I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is just actually put it immediately next to there. Like, completely parallel to the bed there. Just to save on space as possible. Because I want to fit as much as we can into this little room here. Let's get these out of the way. And let's get that out of the way as well. Because that will block sort of movement in into the house. Just dump that over there for now. For a stockpile, we'll build a specifically different room. I'm happy to use wood for this early game. I don't want to try and get stone cutting done too early. So let's do something like that. Um, okay, that's fine. And then we'll build sort of a, a door there, I think. Just as, as sort of separate access. And we'll do another door there as well. All right. Get to work, young Jilp. You have the whole day ahead of you. Now, I'm going to be very careful about going on speed four as well. That's another thing people have said that they wanted to see less of, is me blitzing through things on speed four. So we're going to be a little more careful, especially during the early game. It's okay when we've got a sort of semi-autonomous colony, right? We've got people harvesting those crops, and we've got people automatically making the meals. For now, when we're dealing with one guy, speed three is good. And then obviously when he's asleep, we'll, we'll crank it back up to speed four. I'm very impatient. I'm, I'm just naturally incredibly impatient. So it's going to take a lot to get over that. This is all right. This is already a fine start, I think. So in terms of power, then we'll plan that out next. I mean, it's going to be very straightforward. We could actually build it relatively over the river here. And that will prevent, obviously, you know, constantly needing to chop down trees and shit. Um, I'm going to put it here. No, we'll put it there. Basically, as close to the river as we possibly can. That's good. And then we'll obviously designate these zones to cut out as well. Shame we can't build a roof near it. That's the only, that's the only issue I've got here. We could put down just like a wooden floor. So that we have to do less micro. It's 126 wood though. Yeah, maybe not, huh? Um, we'll just manually have those cut down. So get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. There we go. All right, house is coming along quite nice. It is 4 p.m., so we're going to have to go a little bit faster. Jump, no pressure. Latrine is done. That's pretty great, I think. And then if we get the bedroom... So we did go and wash in the river then, but as you notice, he hasn't done it 18 times already in the first five minutes, which is pretty fantastic. All right, what I'm going to do then is set his first day. Let's just blitz through this first day. Sorry, I'm going to make him work for a couple more hours, but I'll let him sleep in tomorrow as a little reward there. And let's also set him to South tend as well. Okay, now that should be his house basically done. Now, is that giving the comfort bonus? Um, it's kind of difficult to tell because obviously we, I mean, it does seem to be, yeah. It's very difficult to tell. I, it's got to be, right? Because it, it, it's just proximity. It's not like, you know, distance to it or anything like that. It doesn't have to be like one block away. That'd be nuts. All right. So actually, this has worked out pretty well. We've got bedroom done. We've got a, a not really a kitchen area, but it will be in a second. So let's put down, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I know I normally do this and sometimes it backfires, but I'm going to put down the stove immediately. And then I'm also going to put down a butcher's table immediately. 
We've got enough wood for it, too. Man, we got very lucky with the sort of the tree, the building, the river. All of this together is a very, very nice start. Um, that's good. And then I want a little bit of room for, obviously, a table as well. Because we don't want to commit war crimes. I mean, we're already committing war crimes just based on the backstory of this playthrough. But I don't want to go that crazy with it. And then, of course, i got to remember we've got the additional furniture mod, which is uh, pretty great. It's, it's been basically top of Steam Workshop. Because it is just that well designed. And it looks incredible, too. So, uh, we'll have to check this out, but there are additional levels of furniture. We do have to get research for it, though. So, I, I don't exactly know where it is on this massive list of, um, research. Whether we can even get it this early on remains to be seen. Um, it, it's just like the um, immediate research after furniture. Hmm. I can't see it. Pers oh, right, there it is. Furniture tab. Yeah. So, if we want particularly high levels of furniture, we obviously need to work our way through those as well. So, it's not like some of the other mods that I've played before that add additional furniture that just, you, you know, you have it off the gate. You do have to research it first, which I think adds a nice little bit of balance, but obviously it does offer more comfort furniture, that type of thing. Why are you cleaning all the way over there, you strange man? Okay, that's something I immediately need to nip in the bud. So let's do that. And let's go uh, cleaning zone to area one, and then let's just let him sleep. Honestly, my guy, you're, you're working too hard. It's it's nine o'clock. Get, get, get some, excuse me, get some, excuse me, get some sleep. There we go. All right, going to go stargazing for a bit. And then working on recreation as well should be pretty high priority, I think. So we've got uh, <laughs> the lonely chess table. Yeah, maybe not. We'll just put this outside his immediate bedroom door there. So that way, wakes up in the morning, can stand in his bedroom and play a little bit of horseshoes. Now, what else do we have the option to? Chess. I mean, it counts as a different type of recreation, so it's probably not a bad idea to also get that down. Again, we've got plenty of wood during this start point. Uh, no, wait. Table. Table first. Worry about chess later. All right, let's go just a one by two table for now. Can't imagine he's going to get any visitors for quite some time. We'll just put down one chair too. Well, I want to future proof it just in case we do get some more people because this is a fairly sizable kitchen for the amount of guys that we've got, which is uh, one, one for those of you keeping count. All right. So what do we need for the wind turbine? I, I check this every series. I can never remember. So we need two components. So that's just a single vein of components and 100 steel. Oh man, there are really no components this side of the river, huh? Run all the way over there. Oh, there's sky steel as well. So we can actually make him a, a true... We might be able to make him like a sky steel bed also. That would be pretty great. I'm actually going to go and deconstruct that because it's quite valuable. And let's also just mine a single block for now. We could go for two, I guess. Couldn't hurt to have some spare just in case he botches it. Refugee, already. Setsuko. No, is it the Setsuko? Or it, obviously Setsuko is just a random name added by Rimmel, but it could be the Setsuko. Followed by two villagers. We don't have any weapons. But how can I not? Holy shit, it's the Setsuko. She's here. Now, she looks fairly overpowered. Uh, the downside is, of course... Oh, God, she's capable of violent. Yeah, no, I remember why you were garbage in hindsight. Uh, she's also body purist, and she's got... Uh, this, will not la this will not last long. She got married to somebody. That's all we know. So she, got, she got married to some random person many, many years ago. Shit, she's incapable of violent. There are two enemies. We don't have a weapon yet. Oh, God. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, did I just curse it? Shit, how quickly can you make a shortbow, Jilp? How quickly can you make a shortbow and arrows? We don't need to do much. We could just let her die if it's looking that bad. Setsuka, run. In fact, she can be bait. Oh fuck, he's not going to be able to make this in time. Oh god. Why is she moving so slowly? Why is she moving so, so slowly? Okay, there was nothing we could have done in this situation. Kidnap her. Yeah, get rid of her. I don't care. I'm fine with that. Goodbye. She is gone. Immediately. And that's going to be malnourished. Oh, right. You need food. Right. I forgot people need food. Um, Okay, we got some berry bushes. Although, although that guy is not leaving, huh? That guy's just straight up not leaving. He's coming to a attack our latrine. Well, this sucks. Um... He's just going to be right outside though, isn't he? Okay, equip equip that. Where is he? Oh, he did leave. Oh, he turned around and left. Okay. Man, I thought he was not going to go then. All right, we're fine. Nothing to worry about. So let's actually go and get some food then. That's the one thing I completely forgot about was maybe like, you know, sowing fields. Uh, what? I thought we would... Excuse me. I thought we had berries. Have you lied to me? Oh, God. There's not many. There's some down here. Get away from that. Uh, the animals have feet, sees. Uh, the animals have... The animals have feet. That's horrifying. That is some real Rayman shit, huh? Right, let's go and harvest some... Uh, so that is a, an optional feature, by the way. Uh, just to pull back the curtain a little bit. I, I forgot I did that, but you can actually turn on animal feet uh, in the facial features and stuff mod. as sort of a, a little additional bonus there. Please, no food poisoning. On top of everything else, that would be horrible. Eat up, little Jill. You deserve it. There we go. Okay, we're good. 
That is a good amount of food as well. If you want to go and haul that, that would be fantastic. Uh, just pick up all the berries. Honestly, just pick up all the berries. There you go. Take it with you. Go about your business. So I think we'll make a stone bow and arrow before we do absolutely anything else. Because that will be the thing keeping us alive here. Um, just in case we do get someone else turn up. Alright. That, that's it. Eat your, eat your food and equip your arrows. Right. Let's, uh, let's just get those picked up immediately. Okay. Alright. And he should be able to fire. I just want to make sure that those are equipped and we don't have to do... Okay. Well, I'm sure they are. They just have to be in his inventory, right? I can never remember whether or not we have to specifically set up that loadout. Which we will do as well, but it's not too relevant when we've only got one guy, right? To uh, go through the whole assigned tab and, and set him up with a bow and arrow manually. What are you doing? Oh, you're making a lot of arrows. Honestly, I'm fine with it because we've got food immediately. We don't need to worry about it. He's got plenty of berries in his backpack, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty okay with this. So how many did I tell you to make? This was a mistake. Okay, he's going to make 30 and then he's going to have a little drink. Eclipse, doesn't matter. Completely irrelevant right now. Not too concerned about that at all. So we do need to set up a couple of hours of recreation time then. So let's go like this and let's set up a couple in the morning. So I forgot to set him up recreation time for the past two days. Okay. So he's now getting nine hours of sleep, which is way too much. That's 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 absurd. Right, there we go. And then we could probably say, you know, let him have a little bit less. That's, that's being a bit overly generous, especially when it's, you know, the difference is life and death during this early game. Would also like to get a little bit of plant planted. Before we get too far ahead of things here. But setting up power, I think... I don't know. Actually, let's get the... Oh, God. Jump 8. <laughs> wow, this is happening quite frequently. Randy. Jump 8 is back. Another Jump 8? Or is this the same Jump 8 from the other save game that we abandoned? I bet it probably is. That's insane. So this will be Jump 8, who was Jump 11. Who is now going to be... Technically, Jilp 13, but we'll keep him as Jilp 8 slash Jilp 11. Welcome. Because he never died. And he's got his stone arrows as well. Okay, cool. And what's this guy good at? Uh, social, intellectual. He's, he's not as good as other Jilp. But he does have, obviously, a, a lot of great stuff going for him. This is very odd. This is, this is very peculiar. Uh, other Jilp, get ready to fight. Okay, raid. Are they going to care about sharing a bedroom? I mean, they're, they're, they are the, they're the same person for all intents and purposes. Okay. Let's do it, team. Let's see what Jilp is made of. <laughs> we are Jilp. Lower your weapons and trend of your ships. Where are they? Okay. Uh, now, do they have range weapons? They're not moving. Oh, because it's paused. Wow. <laughs> so, oh, God, something's bugged out. They're not moving again. Now, do we have the same error we had last time? No, Jilp can actually... is capable of combat this time around. Do you remember last time we, we had a Jilp turn up? Oh, he's not actually firing, though. Did I work out the problem with this last time? I don't know that I did. I don't know that I worked out. Uh, let's drop. Let's drop the bow and pick it back up. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that will do it. Drop. Drop the bow. There we go. Okay. Equip the bow, and then equip the arrows, and hopefully that will. Oh god, they've actually got a bow and arrow. Oh god, they've got plastic arrows as well. It's doing me a concern. Maybe chase this one down. Or was it something like he was capable of of punching, but not capable of? Yeah, he's not capable of ranged attacks for some peculiar reason. Okay, they've taken him to cover. He's also suppressed. Come around here. They're going to shoot my... They've done it with a shotgun. Well, that's not fair. You can't just turn it with a shotgun. He's going to shoot my latrine with a shotgun. He's shooting the shit, one might say. How dare you. Just lit my latrine on fire with a shotgun. Punch him. Okay, other job holding still. Hold him. We're going to... Oh, get ready. Special beam cannon. Nice. Good work, Jill. Oh, God. If Jill Pate dies, I'm going to be so sad. It's a real shame. We're just level one in melee. That's nothing to celebrate about. That's it. You better run. You better run. Holy shit. Okay. Is, is he any good? Ah, uh, not really. But okay, it's better than not having him, right? Uh, underground and cold lover. Night owl bisexual. He's, he's got some pretty good skills there. If you want to put out the shotgun ammo. Oh my god, we got a shotgun. I can't believe that Randy would throw a guy who has a shotgun at us. Why are you not putting the fire? The latrine is on fire. Making stone out. Oh, because he's on it. Right, thank you. Yeah, I can't believe that the first enemy Randy would send at us is, is two guys, one with a shotgun. It's a good job they had EMP ammo. It's a good job the game randomized that. Otherwise, we could have been super screwed there, huh? Do you want to capture you? Is the other one also... I mean, we're not going to chase him down. You're not that good either. You're, like, really not worth, not worth grabbing, in my opinion. All right, well, on the plus side, unlike last time when this happened, we actually have a second room. So we can make a dedicated prisoner room. So, Jilp 12, capture Grey... Let's get him into the prison. And then I guess... Who's the better doctor? They're both the same. Oh, Jilpay also needs immediate tending. Um, go, go and bed rest. 
Oh, he can't. Let's, let's turn that into a medical bed and then let him go in bed rest immediately. How are you doing? Oh, it's just bruises. Okay, that's that's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Nothing to worry about. I don't think bruises can become infected or anything like that. It has to be like a like a like a bleeding wound, doesn't it? All right. Um, he's fine. Go go and tend to Jilp, and then after you're done with that, go back and tend to Gray. I'd rather Jilp Eight was dealt with rather than Gray, obviously. All right. Now look, we're gonna have to set down some sleeping spots. This is kind of annoying because now suddenly we've ended up with a lot more colonists than I intended to get this early on. Do you want to recruit this guy? Um, ideally, yeah. Resistance remaining 28, 75%. Ooh, okay. Um, you are a better warden, I think. They're, they're identical, but we've got to have Jill Pay do something useful around here, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. They're, they're both equally as, more or less as good as one another. It's just Jill 12 has some extra points in certain places, but Jill Pay has infinitely better traits. Like, actually useful traits. Decent learner, strong constitution. So this guy's more skilled immediately, but Jill Pay could probably overtake him in, in, in the wars to come. All right. Well, um... Unexpected. <laughs> Jill Pate just refuses to die. He's ascended. So this is going to be the freezer, but I mean, we might as well turn it into freezer slash... Oh man, there's not enough wood now. Shit. Uh, we'll turn it into freezer slash just temporary storage zone, because obviously we don't have any storage right now. All right. Um, you're only bruised. Get up. Hey, stop that. Jill Pate, go and, go and plant cut, for the love of God. If you can't plant cut, then you go back to bed or something. That's it. Try recruiting this guy. It's a good idea. Okay. Let's get a bit more wood, and let's also turn this, like I said, into a full-blown freezer slash just temporary storage zone until later. Let's go stockpile zone and just sort of flesh that out a little bit. And let's shrink this from here, just to stop them putting stuff in front of the door, as they tend to do in Rimwood, as they are wont to do. Um, I'm going to allow all as well, so hopefully they'll start hauling that as soon as possible. Jump 12, what's wrong, my friend? Uh, malnourished. Oh, we are out of meals. Yes, correct. Uh, bushes. I think bushes are good. Uh, let's... Oh, God, I can't believe I just said that on the internet. Harvest all plants. We're fine. Okay, so you guys get to... Get to chopping. Oh, man, they're just gonna chop everything, though. Well, on the plus side, he's no longer malnourished. That's a lot of berry bushes that hopefully that's gonna bring in. I'm happy to have them do this. I mean, it's food. I mean, what what's more important than food at this point, huh? Where are they going? Oh, God. Sad one to jump 12 already. That was quicker than I expected. I can't believe of all the things I'd forget. You know, I was pretty on... I think I was pretty on point with the actual building this time around. Forgot food. But that's the price you pay, huh? I'm going to cancel all the designations on this side of the river. What is that in the top right corner? I hope you guys have noticed that as well. I'm just going to make sure everything on that side of the river is cancelled. What are you? What the? Oh, they're muffalo. I thought that was just one. You see this? I thought this was all one creature. Okay, that's nothing to worry about. Cool. In fact, we might want to even try and domesticate some. Is anyone good at animals? Um, no. I wish I'd never asked. Zero and zero, zero, of course. You can see why I prioritize in remote, huh? What's wrong, Jump12? Why you, why you have to be sad? I think it was just because he, he just ate those berries and his mood hadn't recovered. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, it's one guy with a bow. And they've got a backpack, more importantly. So if we can take him out, that's pretty good. Good melee. Not that we're too worried about that. Acquaintance is grey. Oh, these are the same people. Wait, they've got to be, right? If they're acquainted. Uh, yeah, the alliance of Rotol. It's, it's my good friend. Bimmy, B Bimmy, what's your name, sorry? Bimmy Brimbra. <laughs> Sounds like one of my CK2 names, honestly. Top Box Bob and Bimmy Brimbra. The Adventures of. <laughs> like some sort of old-timey detective agency. Um, sorry to do this, Jill Pate. I know you're horribly injured, but uh, you are our only hope at this point. Have they got, did they have a ranged weapon? Oh, you know what? They're, they're going to attack in a while. So hopefully by the time they actually decide to attack, Jill 12 will have uh, snapped out of it. Thrombos. Oh, good. Good. Thank you. No, he has not snapped out of that at all. Okay, then. Um, Erica. Erica wants help now. Erica in the town. She's got a gun, though, right? Oh, no. Erica is also incapable of violence. Man, they are really throwing raids at us, huh? What's that? Three in the first goddamn episode? Welcome, Erica. I mean, hopefully we can deal with this guy and get Erica at the same time. Oh my god, he still can't shoot. This is not fair. This is a bug. This is a bug. This isn't fair. Okay. <laughs> this, is a, this is a very weird bug, I will admit. I think it's supposed to be the colonists obviously loading in from another save game. I kind of thought it would be a fun addition so that we could see survivors of failed jobs colonies. Now I'm seeing that it's actually... It's causing me a lot of issues. This is, this is adding a, a whole layer of difficulty I was not expecting. Uh, just run forever. Just, just keep running. What are they doing? The, why are they always after the toilet? Why is it always the wooden latrine? Jump 12. If you want to snap out of it any time now, did you bring anything with you? Herbal medicine. I will. Uh, thank you. Thank you for joining us. 
Drop eight. Get, get into cover. Erica. Erica's shield can just stand there and tank it. It's a bow and arrow. Oh. Erica, you may have accidentally saved the colony. We've got to... Oh, God, shit. This is what I was not hoping for. I was going to say we've got to hope that they've also turned up with a rifle. I was going to say we've got to hope that the, the person after Erica doesn't turn up before Jill Pate is done... Oh, before Jilp12 is done with his mental breakdown here. Are you quite ready to join us again yet? I don't think Erica can deal with a rifle and a, and a boat. Yeah, she's fine. It can't do enough damage. It needs to do 36 more points of damage before it can break through the shield. And it obviously isn't going to be able to do that. How many arrows do they have? Are they not just going to run out? Just sit here and drain them of their arrows. Sure, that, that works. That works with me. Jilp12, whenever you're ready to uh, come back to the land of living, that's good. Now, Jilp8 is capable of melee. So we're going to send him to go and grab this club. This is nuts. So we're just basically training up this person's shooting skill, huh? Right, go and get this club. And then watch this. Sneaky Jilp. No one will ever see you coming, Jilp. You are a master of stealth. Look at this. It's like fucking Chuck Rock. Oh my god, what a reference. That was a horrible reference, I'm sorry. Shout out to all three of you who understood that. Get him, Ma. Oh, he's in there. Erica, you're incapable of violence. Oh god, Jill Pate is going to go down, isn't he? <gasps> Shit, he actually did. Oh my god. Okay, Erica, just stay there and... Maybe those two will fight one another? <gasps> they will! Don't shout that on my video, excuse me. They decided to kidnap who they can leave. No, 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 no. Jill 12, come on, man. You've been wandering around for the past five years. Okay, just body block them. Just get in front and body block them. It fucking worked. How did that work? I might be a god of Rimworld. R okay, they're actually leaving. They're just straight up leaving. What the hell happened there? Oh, because it briefly ticked over to speed four. Let's get the life out of me. Don't get shot. Oh, don't get shot. Keep running. Erica, maybe your shield's good enough to uh, suck up the bullets. Okay, get over there. Go over there and soak up those bullets. Jill Pate, are you all right? He's just hugely bruised. That he's after Jolt 12. How has this gone? What is this? It's this dude with a monocle has turned up. Oh, that's a fancy looking monocle, actually. What are you wearing? I, what's wrong with his eye? <laughs> I genuinely thought that was like an old timey, like a buffalo hunter or something. Okay, uh, Jill. There we go. Okay, we're fine. I'm not racist. I kill all kinds. Who, who wrote the lines for these people? This is fine. We can just sit here and starve them out. A group from the Orange Basin Confederacy, our saviors. Orange Basin Confederacy, named after Orange himself. Orange, save us. Everything... Jump 12. Jump, jump 12 is being shot at. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, on the plus side, his mental break has ended. Okay. While well, Erica is being the, being the bait, go. Get him, get him to bed. And then do we wait for these guys to take him out? Because I imagine they will, right? Are they, they going to head... What have they got? They've got explosives. Okay. Jump 12 is dead. <laughs> How has this gone so wrong already? <laughs> Congratulations, Jump 8. <laughs> Jump 8 slash Jump 10 is now also Jump 13. This is ridiculous. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Chief. A field promotion for my boy Jump Th Jump 13 deserves this, okay? This guy just fucking throwing the towel immediately. The second, oh, I haven't eaten my berries today. Better run around while everyone else is being shot. Oh, he's decided he's given up. Oh, shit. Okay, sw switch to a melee weapon. Oh, Erica. Why are they so slow? Erica and Setsuko move at the speed of a paraplegia. What's going on? Well, they're gone now. And then there was Jump. <laughs> Holy fuck, Jill Pate once again. Just go and rest, my guy. It's unbelievable. Can you can you self tend? Prioritize tending to Jill thirteen. Patch yourself up, my guy. Thank you for thank you for being part of the colony. But holy shit, like that's it. That's it. Patch it. Patch yourself up. All right, here we go. Well, that was uh, that's been a hell of a ride so far. One jump down. Erica's gone. Setsuko's gone. Unbelievable. We need to dig ourselves. We need to dig ourselves a jump grape. You know what? This is a jump. He deserves a sarcophagus. I can't believe this. Jill Pate, the undying. He's definitely going down in history, if nothing else. Right, that's it. Go and, go and build, him a, build him a nice sarcophagus. 
Oh, good God. All botch it. Whatever. Now, this guy's garbage again, isn't he? Oh, good. We've gone from having a good jilp where potentially hope was to, to garbage jilp. Haul him. Get him buried. Well, thank you for watching. Turns out the, 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 the Throog Accords, the, the Throog Doctrine, whatever the hell I called it, has made no difference. It's still... It's still ever so stressful, Rimmel. But I've got a good feeling about this one. You know, I, I feel like Jilp 13. He was Jilp 8. He's Jilp 11. Now he's Jilp 13. He's a survivor. This man is hopeful. This is a hopeful man who's going who's gonna to give us all sorts of hopes and dreams. And thank you to the insane top tier level patrons who made the series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sidini, Conspired T, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Danny Good, Donald, Eric B, Escape, Fukunda Vasquez, Thongus King, Harik, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Necrofilm, Pavis Presley, Seth All the Sweet, Toby Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Vacuous Bacchus, and Zazzy 7011. What a ridiculous list. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for keeping the channel going. Thank you for keeping Jilp going. Because not much else is at this point. It's going to need some act of God to, to redeem this series. And thank you as well to Asaro, Adam Person, Andrew Wilson, Betamus Max, Sidini, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Run, Genji Zerka, Gray, Haji Demar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, I See the Great, Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Llewellyn Thomas, Matthew, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindberg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Nixie, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Smirtworm, The Insane Pickle, Will Wade, Wolfie, and Zico 2. That's insane. That is a, that is a long old list.